as you can see, I'm in my art studio today. So that means one of two things. And it could either be palette packs or sketchbooks. So we're going to do an unboxing here in a moment. But before we get into the video, I'm going to share with you what I am going to be drinking during the video. I found this local cider, hard cider from Weston, Missouri. So this is a shout out to one of our local brewers, Kansas City, handcrafted a Weston hard cider. And it's really good. It's nice and light and crisp. And it's not very heavy like some ciders can be. And I am thoroughly enjoying it. So let's get into doing a quick unboxing. And then after I get some of the materials out, I'll whip you around and then we'll do some uh, swatches and maybe a quick art piece. Okay, for those of you that don't know, uh, Sketchbox is a monthly subscription box. This is the Premier, or I think it's called Premier, and there's a basics pack. So just so you know, this is the bigger one. And I will link all their information below if you're interested. Sketchbox is a good one if you're into a lot of drawings, maybe calligraphy, pen ink work, things like that. That's good. That's what I feel Sketchbox is better for, the drawing people. So it always comes nicely wrapped. Let's take out these items first. I'm going to try to pronounce Nicoli Shaver. But that is the artwork right there. You can pronounce it yourself. And I believe that this is done with what we're getting this month. So it appears to be colored pencils of some sort, maybe? And we always get a card that says what we're going to get in it. And if you go to Sketchbox, it'll tell you how to use all the goodies you get for that month. So I'm going to keep this handy because this will tell me what the prices are and things. Ooh, we get a big Sketchbox sticker. Usually we get little tiny ones, and this is a lot bigger. So I'm probably not going to stick this to anything, and I'm going to keep it to put it in my little photo pictures for my um, thumbnails for these videos. So this is going to come in handy for me. Oh, we've got lots of things. So let me start with the substrate. Strathmore Artist Tiles. Bristol Artist Tiles. Vellum Surface. 300 series, 20 tiles. So this is what it looks like before I get it out. So here it's a very hefty, thick paper, good for, I'm guessing, colored pencils. And you can do a lot of things with this. I think you can do some alcohol ink on here if you just, if you don't saturate it completely. So vellum, I think, is a little more sturdy than just your average paper, but aren't these cute? Oh, what are these? Four by fours, does it say? Yeah, four by four inches. And we get quite a bit. Oh, and let me read. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to tell you. The Strathmore vellum cards, the whole pack is $5.49. And then we have these blender pencils. So we know for sure we're gonna get, get some colored pencils. And these aren't like the um, blenders for graphite and charcoal. Um, these are a different substance that helps you actually like burnish colored pencils to help them blend. Okay, so we get a two pack retail price, 615. Color, colorless wax. Oil wax medium for blending, dry mixing, and burnishing. So just what we thought they were. Six fifteen. So those are kind of expensive. Right. Let me get out the like things. These are uh, colored pencils with a little bit of ass to them. These are Crate Color Magna Color. Retail price is $3.49 each. These 
are, we have yellow, we have ochre light and English red in our favorite, fat leaded colored pencils. These are great for shading since the 6.4 millimeter lead can handle both large areas and details. Okay, so these are meant to do a little more background. Yeah, these are some serious colored pencils. I thought this was green at first. Can you tell that? But it says yellow ochre. Or I keep saying yellow. Ochre light. Jesus. Get your shit together. But yeah, these are pretty hefty. Okay, I wanted to get them all the same. So these are Tombow colored pencils. Yes, uh, Tombow retail price is $2.39 each. We love these high quality colored pencils for their color range and ability to blend. We worked with Tombow to bring these three colors previously not available in, we have Yolk Yellow, Russet Brown, and Silver Gray. So these are kind of interesting colors to put together. Um, I've been doing some dogwood flowers and I think that actually all three of these colors would be very good to do a drawing of a dogwood flower. So maybe we'll do that later on. So yeah, there's those. Ooh. Let me, Chameleon Double Ended Color Pencil Set. I'm going to go like this so you can see these colors. So they're double-ended, of course, I already said that. But these are very nice. They're interesting. It's like a nice springy pack, I would say. Um, like I said, maybe good for the dogwood flower we're going to do later, or maybe a hydrania. It's giving me a nice um, springtime palette feel. Let's read about these. Or can you see them? Can you see them here? Chameleon. It's $15 and it's a custom pack for just Sketchbox. We've included five double-ended color pencils from Chameleon. They're, spe they're specifically designed so you can flip over the pencil to blend with the next one. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got more things. Two more things. All right, we got the pencil sharpener, of course. Create a color mega duo sharpener. Retail price is $6. I don't really need to read too much about this, but it's nice for two different sizes. And the last one is a mono eraser, sand and rubber eraser by Tombow. It says for ink and pencil. So the consistency of this is going to be good for colored pencils. Now, I don't know if it erases colored pencils all the way down to white, but you can definitely put in highlights and stuff with this. Um, we'll have to try it out because I've never really done a lot of erasing of my colored pencils. But this is $2.39 and it says it's new. Well, maybe that's why. I've never used it. It's a rare eraser that is a wonderful addition to your artist's arsenal. It combines their sand eraser grit to remove colored pencil and ink with their rubber eraser. Okay, so we have two different sides, it's not mixed. So one side is the sand and one side is the rubber. This feels like the sand, this feels like the rubber. So we're gonna have to give that a try here in a moment. All right guys, I'm gonna do a Flip a bitch, flip you over, and we're going to do some quick swatches and maybe get into a quick little project. All right, we're going to do some quick swatches in my little art journal. Um, this isn't an art journal like people are trending these days. These, I'm keeping track of what I get in my palette packs and sketch boxes and things. Um, just materi materials I'm getting, maybe ideas, and I'm also keeping pictures of things for projects. Like I'm doing a hydrania project, so I got some pictures in here, and I got some dogwoods. So yeah, that's my journal, and I'm marking what I'm getting, so I know each month if I need to refer back. So let's start right into it. Let's start with these guys. 
This was English, oh, this is kind of hard to write, English Red. I'm so sorry somehow I lost the fur the first few minutes of this little dogwood flower but let me catch up I just did a quick sketch then erased my lines she couldn't see them I went in with that gray silver color outlined outlined my flower did some shading I put some yellow in the middle and some of the brick color out towards the end of the petals. That's all I really got done to this point. Now you're going to see me starting to layer, layer up different colors trying to get the shadows a little darker. I had a lot of trouble with these particular colors at least, not the colored pencil th pencils themselves. I just couldn't get my shadows or anything dark enough to shadow properly. So you're gonna, you're gonna see me struggle and then in the end I actually just take a pencil and deepen things up how I like it. So yeah, uh, hope you like the video. I will let you watch and enjoy.
Okay, guys, this is a, my finished flower. I'm not going to lie. I was struggling a little bit, so I just took some uh, just a normal graphite pencil and went in and did some additional darkening of some areas, which made me a little more happy with it. So I did cheat a little bit. I used a pencil, but, you know, whatever you need to do to make it right. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. If you made it all the way to the end, please comment down below. I made it. Give the video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next unboxing, guys. Bye!